With the imminent launch of Dream Chaser later this year, this spacecraft marks a significant milestone not only for Sierra Space, but also for NASA, which has been eagerly anticipating reliable counterparts to SpaceX's Dragon. After setbacks with Boeing Starliner, NASA is looking to diversify its fleet, ensuring a balanced and competitive space race. Dream Chaser, with its innovative design and promising capabilities, could be the game changer NASA needs. In this episode, we'll explore why Dream Chaser might be the right choice for NASA, how it compares to Starliner, and whether it can compete with or even surpass SpaceX's Dragon. Dream Chaser, a space plane developed by Sierra Space, has a unique history and exciting future. Originally conceptualized in 2004, the project gained new momentum when Sierra Space Corporation took the reins in April 2021. This strategic move accelerated development, culminating in the production of the first prototype, named Tenacity, completed last year. Dream Chaser is not just any spacecraft, it boasts several distinctive features. It's designed to land on any runway that can accommodate a commercial airplane, offering unparalleled flexibility in mission planning and recovery. This spacecraft can carry up to 5,500 kilograms of cargo to and from the International Space Station, making it a vital asset for NASA's future missions. Furthermore, Dream Chaser's ability to perform smooth runway landings minimizes the stress on both the spacecraft and its contents, ensuring delicate experiments and equipment returning safely. With the launch of Tenacity scheduled for later this year, Dream Chaser is poised to play a crucial role in the next era of space exploration. Dream Tracer has undergone extensive testing phases, demonstrating its resilience and readiness for space missions. Over several months, the spacecraft endured a series of rigorous evaluations at NASA facilities, including vibration tests on the world's largest capacity and most powerful spacecraft shaker, as well as thermal vacuum tests to simulate the harsh conditions of space. These tests have been crucial in verifying Dream Tracer's structural integrity and thermal protection systems. Unlike Boeing Starliner, which has faced numerous setbacks, Dream Tracer has successfully passed all major tests without significant issues solidifying confidence in its capabilities. As of now, Dream Chaser is at NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida, where it will undergo a few final tests before it's scheduled to launch on ULA's Vulcan Centaur later this year. The significance of Dream Chaser's progress is underscored by a high-profile visit from top NASA officials. On July 11th, Sierra Space tweeted about a behind-the-scenes tour they hosted for NASA's administrators Bill Nelson, Deputy Administrator Pamela Melroy, and other senior officials. This visit, which occurred in the first week of June, highlighted the importance of NASA places on Dream Chaser as part of its future mission plans. During their tour, Nelson and Melroy had the opportunity to closely inspect the Dream Chaser space plane and the Shooting Star cargo module at the Planetary Space System Processing Facility. This direct involvement from NASA leadership is a strong indicator of the agency's confidence in Dream Chaser's potential to fulfill its strategic objective in space exploration. Following the visit, Bill Nelson took to social media to reaffirm NASA's commitment to its partnership with Sierra Space. Reposting the Sierra Space's tweets, Nelson stated, With our commercial partners, NASA is paving the way for continued missions to low Earth orbit and future missions to the Moon, Mars, and beyond. Together, we are making great progress to lift humanity to the stars. This public endorsement from the highest levels of NASA not only validates the work being done by Sierra Space, but also signals a clear message of support and anticipation for Dream Chaser's upcoming space missions. This kind of endorsement is crucial as it helps build public and industry confidence, ensuring continued support and funding for the Dream Chaser project. Boeing Starliner has had a tumultuous journey since it was first contracted by NASA in 2014. Despite its promising start, Starliner has faced multiple technical and operational issues issues that delayed its progress significantly. One of the major setbacks occurred during an uncrewed test flight in 2019, where software errors caused the spacecraft to miss its intended orbit. This incident was followed by a series of other problems, including hypergolic propellant leaks, parachute malfunctions, and faults with flammable electrical wiring. The most recent setback was a helium leak which postponed the crew flight test mission until June 2024. These recurring issues have not only delayed Starliner's missions, but also eroded confidence in its reliability and safety. In contrast, Dream Chaser has shown remarkable progress and reliability during its development and testing phases. One of the key differences between Dream Chaser and Starliner is their design and operational approach. Dream Chaser is a reusable space plane designed to land on conventional runways, offering flexibility and ease of access to various landing sites worldwide. This capability reduces the need for specialized recovery teams and infrastructure, which is significant logistical advantages over Starliner's capsule design Furthermore, Dream Chaser's rigorous testing phase has been notably smoother, with no major technical issues reported. This stark difference in the testing outcomes highlights Dream Chaser's robustness and readiness compared to Starliner's troubled journey. The advantages of Dream Chaser over Starliner are clear when it comes to testing and reliability. Dream Chaser's successful completion of vibration tests and thermal vacuum tests without significant problems demonstrates its structural integrity and preparedness for the harsh conditions of space. Additionally, its ability to land on any conventional runway enhances mission flexibility and reduces turnaround times between missions. In contrast, Starliner's repeated issues have led to mission delays and increased costs, raising concerns about long-term viability. 
These factors collectively make Dream Chaser a more reliable and versatile option for NASA's future missions. Dream Chaser's first mission, scheduled for later this year, is a pivotal moment for Sierra Space and NASA. This mission, which will be launched on ULA's Vulcan Centaur, is expected to validate Dream Chaser's capabilities in real-world conditions and pave the way for its integration into NASA's regular mission roster. The success of this mission is crucial as it will determine Dream Chaser's role in the future of space exploration, including its participation in the International Space Station resupply program. By demonstrating its ability to reliably transport cargo to and from the ISS, Dream Chaser can secure a key position in NASA's logistical operations. Dream Chaser's unique design and operational capabilities make it an ideal component for the ISS resupply program. Its ability to return delicate scientific experiments and equipment to Earth with minimal stress is a significant advantage. Unlike conventional capsules that land in the ocean and require complex recovery operations, Dream Chaser can land on a runway, ensuring quick and efficient retrieval of cargo. This capability not only enhances mission efficiency, but also reduces the risk of damage to critical scientific payloads. Looking beyond ISS resupply missions, Dream Chaser has the potential to play a vital role in future space projects such as the Orbital Reef Project. Sierra Space is a key partner in this ambitious venture, which aims to build a commercially owned space station. Dream Chaser is expected to be the primary vehicle for deploying Sierra Space's life inflatable modules to the Orbital Reef. These modules will serve as habitats and laboratories, significantly expanding the station's capabilities. Furthermore, Dream Chaser's versatility could support other commercial and scientific missions, including crewed space flights, satellite deployments, and deep space exploration. As Dream Chaser continues to demonstrate its reliability and versatility, it's poised to become a cornerstone of both NASA and the commercial space industry's future endeavors. SpaceX's Dragon and Sierra Space Dream Chaser represent two innovative approaches approaches to space travel, each with distinct designs and operational strategies. Dragon, with its capsule design, has been a cornerstone of SpaceX's success, while Dream Chaser, a space plane, offers unique capabilities that differentiate it from traditional spacecraft. SpaceX's Dragon has established an impressive track record since its first crewed mission in 2020. Over the past four years, Dragon has successfully completed 13 crewed missions, including four private missions and nine under NASA contracts. This includes a demonstration mission after eight official missions to the International Space Station. Dragon's reliability and safety have been paramount, with a flawless 100% success rate in its missions. The spacecraft's design emphasizes safety, luxury, and modernity, which have been consistently praised by astronauts and experts alike. Dragon's ability to carry both crew and cargo, its advanced life support systems, and its successful docking capabilities with the ISS have set high benchmarks in the aerospace industry. In contrast, Dream Chaser's unique space plane design offers a competitive edge in several key areas. Unlike the capsule-based Dragon, Dream Chaser can land on any conventional runway similar to a commercial airplane. This capability significantly enhances mission flexibility and reduces recovery time, allowing for quicker turnaround time between missions. Dream Chaser's ability to transport up to 5,500 kilograms of cargo to and from the ISS and its gentle runway landings make it ideal for returning sensitive scientific experiments and equipment back to Earth. This operational flexibility is a distinct distinct advantage over Dragon, which typically requires ocean landings and complex recovery operations. Furthermore, Dream Chaser's developments and testing phase have shown promise in terms of reliability and safety. The spacecraft has successfully undergone extensive vibration and thermal vacuum tests, crucial for ensuring its resilience in the harsh conditions of space. These tests have demonstrated Dream Chaser's structural integrity and its readiness for operational missions. While Dragon has proven track records, Dream Chaser's innovative design and successful testing suggest it could provide a complementary and, in some cases, superior alternative for certain mission profiles files. Dream Chaser's versatility extends beyond its landing capabilities. It is designed to support various mission types, including crewed space flights, satellite deployments, and potentially deep space exploration. Sierra Space's involvement in the Orbital Reef Project further highlight Dream Chaser's future role in commercial space ventures. As a primary vehicle for deploying inflatable modules to the Orbital Reef, Dream Chaser will play a crucial role in constructing and operating this new commercial space station.